This is Benjamin John Pope and this is another tutorial as character development. <coughs> we um, built this face previously so this is the fourth outline tutorial but this is actually going to make a shaded white and black so we're just going to get straight to it what I've done is I've gone inside of this symbol so I went click click went to that timeline went into another timeline selected all of the items then I left clicked on my computer the button on your mouse that brings up all the options and I said distribute to layers and selected it what it did was make every symbol that we created isolated and singleized according to the timeline down here according to your layers we're going to grab the cheekbone we're going to go to 100% we're going to go inside of it we're going to select this layer and say control copy you're going to add in three layers which means you have four layers we're then going to paste it in place underneath we're going to make that a grey we're then going to paste in place a layer 2 we're going to actually lock all layers unlock layer 2 which could be classed as layer 3 delete it we're going to trans choose black we're going to go to transparency 50 we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to pull the line to there put it down like that and make it that shape we're going to get this layer again unlock all layers select the bottom layer you can either drag down layer 3 or layer 4 or just drag down any layer put it at the bottom of the layers so we know where it's somehow aligned and we're going to choose a black again but that is also going to be alpha 50 um, we're going to grab this piece and we're going to make this piece <coughs> get underneath <coughs> and that's going to be a white and then the white no that's going to be a blue but I want the same blue as the eye we're going to now go modify <coughs> shape expand fill expand five pixels now I'm going to copy it we're going to paste it in place in a layer underneath we're going to pull it out like that choose a darker blue That's the detail that's gone into all of that. Um, we're now going to grab this again. And we're going to grab, um, go inside. And we're going to change that to a blue. Like that. 
No, we're not. We're going to change that to a blue or not. <coughs> Let's go backwards with Control and Z. I think that should just be left grey. Um, we are now going to grab a horn and we're going to actually say show puppy control shift paste <coughs> we're going to lock layer one and cut that off we're going to pull that down like that <coughs> we're going to select a red we are now going to get a circle and we're going to pull it out like that <coughs> we're going to grab that circle and say control copy there above control shift paste we're going to make it smaller what I did is press Q we're now going to make it black We're going to make the circle exactly um, blue. We're going to grab this piece and we're going to say control copy, add in four layers, control shift paste and do that in every layer we're going to get layer one bring it down say modify shape expand fill five oh no modify shape expand fill three pixels that definitely worked we're going to get layer three and we're going to say modify shape expand fill inset layer 4 is going to be cut in half like that but layer 4 layer 4 needs to be cut like that grab one layer 4 and somehow make it all blue again we're going to bring that down to there we're going to bring that up like that do the same there um, this piece be like that they are free they are free ends up being black layer 2 ends up being blue layer 1 is brought down slightly and made transparent or alfred and <coughs> grab layer 2 bring it down Um, what we're gonna do is, I want I want to change the ears, so let me get rid of that. I did say that, that I was gonna change the ears. <coughs> what I'm definitely gonna do is make them a little bit bigger, like that size, connected to the head like that. Now I'm going to send it to the... Hold on. I need that line to be above the ear. There we go. Um, I'm not too sure if I should just use another one of them. I bring it down a bit 
I did sell a domestic role of the ears. I did say that. And I had it recently. <coughs> Has to be that luck, because that looks very better. Um, <coughs> right, these pieces now like the nose we're going to go into the nose right and we're going to add a layer above and I'm going to get the rectangle tool but I'm actually going to pull it like that right the way down but the reason I'm doing that is because the nose shadow should be perfect as that so really to there I followed the eye and I could bend it like that because that's what I would when I undo it and keep it totally straight I'm going to bring that over to there like that now I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom, <coughs> put it on the top, and according to me, according to me, that doesn't fill it in correctly. <coughs> but what does fill it in? I had to change then. because what was actually the outline for some reason hold on a minute That's the white. What I need to do is bring. I need to bring it over to there. Bring that down to there. <coughs> do the same on this side. Now, let me just make the background black a minute just to test to see where this <coughs> when it's on black you can't totally see that so <coughs> let's go back to white <coughs> I fully get that these pieces that piece definitely needs Layers. I could definitely, definitely need white. <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy white to layer three. Modify shape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it is able to be on all backgrounds. <coughs> if it's on black, you'll get rid of that black, obviously. <coughs> but really, we want it on white background. So, we're going to make that white. We're going to do the exact same to these pieces. When you want to three, I'll put four in. I'm going to push it this way. Now I'm going to push it the other way. Then I'm going to say modify shape, expand fill, three pixels. I want to say layer one, layer two I'm bringing over. Layer two is white. <coughs> layer one, bringing it over more. Right, just 
dark blue. <coughs> that definitely needs to be black. Um, feel like moving them down. Put them there for a minute, because maybe even on the ear, like what the ears is like. <coughs> I put them over there a minute. No, I just, yeah, I just, yeah, I delete them because I got them in my library. <coughs> right now, I've got to do. All of a sudden, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go insert a layer, and I need it to be above that layer. The layer that's the white is it above that layer. So layer 23, I'm going to call it shadow. I'm going to name the layer. You double click in the name, and um, they have the names of the sh distribute to layers, but that basically means they have the names of the symbols, obviously, which you can obviously see. I'm going to press Q on the keyboard bring the access what oh, no, was it the axis the axis that white ball means at the top it can be pulled down but only or only extend with the free transform tool downward basically so now all of it whatever all of it now try to leave it like that I pull that so it's <coughs> perfectly round and that's, that's going to be perfect but that is actually going to be 50% alpha 50% alpha get rid of that <coughs> see 50% alpha <coughs> 50% alpha I keep repeating it because I'm slightly thinking of more shading. So let's go into this. Let me think. It now needs like a gleam, like a total gleam. Let's go into the eyes a minute. And we're just gonna get a circle and do that. No, no, undo. Put a layer in above the eyes and then get a circle and do that. What we're doing is we're trying to make a little shine. So we're going to go that colour green. <coughs> definitely need to do is bring that down like that. Nope, doesn't make any sense. But what I will do is put it underneath maybe. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm talking. <coughs> now you're talking. Let's make this bigger. Perfect. Nice. I want to leave that like that. What I'm going to do with this one, right? <coughs> Add a layer in. Put it underneath. I'm actually going to use a different barrier. I might use a white. White. <coughs> it's a bit of fun. A bit of fun. See? <coughs> the white version. 
the white version is a little bit bigger. <coughs> but now, I'm going to grab this shadow, press F8, F8, call it shadow, piece, white, no, shadow, piece, black, alpha. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I'm going to go in here, copy it, put it in the layer underneath, bring it over, and make it white again. And that didn't work because it's nothing back. But really, now because of that, where's the white version? There's a the white version. What we're going to do is we're going to grab that and put it right at the bottom. We're going to bring it over, but this one is going to be made to 100%. Now, there should be a new line in it. And the new line, let's just put this down to 50%. Right, let's have a look at this. 75%. Bring this down so you can see it all. Let's move this so you can see it. Right, so we're having a look at it now. And that line should probably be blue. Um, that line there. Uh, colour. Blue. Now, now it's looking good. But what I definitely want to do, oh, I don't know if it should be blue like that. It should probably be that blue. I don't know if it should be blue like that. That's the shadow. Um, it's looking good I think I'm going to finish it there I'm going to do one more thing maybe one more thing maybe not I'm going to give the nose a circular shadow now I need a rectangle shadow I'm going to give it a rectangle shadow which is also going to be the black shadow version and that's going to just go to there to there pull in like that and just given like a point No, that didn't work. I didn't enjoy what it looked like. Um, I want to make that line bigger because I'm going to shape, expand for it. But I want to be careful. So it's just one pixel. Perfect. I should copy that and do the shadow. Let me just copy this. Put it on layer three. Bring it down like that and then just transparent it. Transparency! Perfect. I'm looking at it and it's quite difficult to see it all, but it is looking good. But really, I need some sort of shadow on the left hand side. Go all the way down, select the rectangle, and I'm going to pull it from there. I'll get rid of the line, and move that over to there, and do that with that part, and that will actually be. And 
do that in a minute. Um, I want that to be to there. Bring that over like that. And then going to bring that over. I want it to be to be in line with it. I think that's the if that is nice with the shading slightly. So many lines it has. Finding difficult to focus on the whole picture. Right, so I've demonstrated different colour forms, I've demonstrated um, distributor layers. This is the end outline tutorial, but there may be and will definitely be other tutorials similar to it. I'm not going to mess around with the horns that I wanted to. Um, I believe it's just those two, but I am, where's the horn, A, B, C, D, e, F, G, horn, let's bring the horn out, let's make it small, I fully get that it probably goes there, but it needs to be on the top, timeline the top layer I mean probably goes there like that but really probably looks better without it so that's the end of the character tutorial that you just experienced and I thank you for listening